Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So today I got something different to show you. I thought I'd show you this little smart air pump that I bought a while back and I've used it quite a bit. It's turned out to be very handy and it works well so I, I thought I'd share it with you. Now I'll just I'll show you the listing on my phone from Amazon. Right here it is. You can see I, I purchased purchased it on December 6, 2023, and it is the Woolwind AP2-P Tire Inflator Portable Air Compressor 150 PSI Air Pump for Cars, Car Tires, Bike, Pump, Auto, Stop, Quick Inflation for Car Owners, Cyclists. So, right there's the picture of it. Comes with these extras, and there's all that. Now it has 4.2 stars out of 1,396 reviews, and right now it is 38.99. And if you go down, also it says save 10% with brand promotion. You can redeem that. Not sure what that all is, but when I bought it, it was actually a a lightning sale, and it was on you know reduced quite a bit. I think I paid like twenty four something for it, so that's why <clears throat> excuse me, that's why I jumped on this one. But yeah, I have to say, pretty happy with this. You can look at some of the specs. Woolwind AP two P. It says it weighs 13.6 ounces. On my scale, it's 14.6. Product dimensions, 2.44 by 1.61 by 6.06. .06. So, we'll measure that. Made in China. Two lithium polymer batteries required. I, it's rechargeable. There's nothing required. And... Has these adapters, flexible hose, Presto Schrader, Dunlap valve adapter, swimming ring nozzle, ball needle, and storage bag, charging cable. So, pretty cool, like I said. 4.2 out of 5 stars, 1,396 reviews. But I think it's pretty cool, you know, before we get into the pump, here's the box. It's actually no brand, name brand on here, it just says Smart Air Pump, the model A2, AP2-P, long standby, 2000 milliamp type C port, digital display, auto shut off, preset pressure, over here some more details 150 max output dimensions millimeters 390 grams on the back here more info power bank LED lighting fast inflation all these codes right and there's more more info so you can preset it to car, motorcycle, bicycle, ball, you know, and it gives you ranges for PSI, bar, you know, different readings. And in the box, of course, this all came in the box. The pump was in the bag. Here's your USB C charging cable. Here's the, the adapters to it. I haven't opened those up to use them yet. There's a owner's manual instruction book. Pretty detailed actually. Tells you a lot. I I actually looked at it to figure out how to set the preset um, pressures. But that's what the box is looking like. Here's the pump. Here's the little storage bag. Now I could put all those other valve adapters in here too. Here's the flexible hose. 
and it has this little heat shrink tubing on here it says hot this thing does get very warm but I kinda keep it up there you screw this into the pump right here and this you screw onto your valve stem of your car bicycle whatever I actually I use this on my little electric scooter to set the tire pressures on on that but yeah that that turns freely so you can screw it onto your valve stem nice nice little bag you can see actually I got a hole in it got one started there because I had this hanging off my EDC sling bag on a carabiner I had it looped like that and throw it in the car when we we go any place so very portable I take it with us we're going someplace I just I put this in the car the truck whatever we're taking and I have it this actually fits into the stem bag on my scooter I could take this with me let's check this out I still have the little plastic cover on to the display but what you do well, let's look at the outside. You got a power button, mode button, the set button to set it, then the plus and minus up and down. You can set the pressures. Got the vent there. Here's the bottom fan SE air pump model AP2-P input DC. Yeah, you can read it all if you want right there. And on top, another warning because this thing does get warm. USB-C plug and a USB plug. You can use this as a battery bank. I have not tried that yet, but for a backup battery bank to charge your phone or flashlight or something, you could use this. It has a LED light. It's not super bright, but... You can definitely make it so you can see what you're doing. But how this thing works, obviously, you just screw this in. Just like that. Now, it's not a, not a very long hose. The hose is only, oh, let's do it this way. Just under six inches, probably six inches long. So when you're doing a truck tire or your car tire, you want to make sure the valve stems down on the bottom. So you could have this running. You can set it down. Otherwise, if it's up top, it's either going to be hanging or you're going to be holding it. But yeah, screw that on. Screw this on to the valve stem. Press and hold the iron button. Just like that. I guess I can take this off. Might be able to see a little better. But a nice digital display. It's on zero right now. This has a person, your personal setting, whatever you want to set it to. That's at 100. Click mode. That changes to car. It's on 30.5. The last car I... I used it on, that's what I set them to. Then has a motorcycle 38 PSI, that's for my electric scooter. Bicycle 70, that's about where I run my one, one bicycle 70. I set it, pump it up to the other one goes up to, I have it pumped up to 80. So that's set for one one of my bikes then shows a ball and that's <clears throat> already preset at eight pounds but to change it all you have to do is hit plus goes up in half pound increments eight and a half nine nine and a half ten back down half pound increments what was it eight pounds then you press and hit set 
and then the, the memory keeps it. Now light, you can turn that on and off by pressing and holding set again. And as you can see, actually it's not too bad. So if you're out trying to add air to your car tire at night, this would definitely help you see to screw this on the valve stem. And turn that off, you just press and hold a little bit. Turn the whole thing off, you press and hold the power button. And it goes off. Now, this thing's not, not too light. Like it said, I think the listing says 13.6. My scale, without the hose, it weighs 14.6. Then you add the hose and stuff. It, it, everything all together is probably a good pound. It's not huge. You can hold it in your hand. I read the dimensions, but, you know, about 6 inches, a little over 6 inches tall. Uh, two and three eighths, five sixteenths wide, about inch and a half thick, and very portable. Like I said, easy to throw in a bag. This would be great for like a bug out bag. It stays charged for a long time. I haven't used it in like a month, and I believe it's still a full charge on this has a battery meter right there that shows full charge and yeah I like it I think it works good I paid a lot less for it but even at 39 40 bucks I think this is a good deal this works well I pumped up bicycle tires the electric scooter tires I had when it was cold out, really cold out, my rear left tire on my truck kept going flat. This thing blew it up from total flatness. It was flat. It took a while. I used up all the battery, but I finally got it up to 35 or whatever I took it to. And like I said, that took a long time. It was cold out. It did run the battery all the way down. It wasn't out. It didn't shut off yet. But it was close. And yeah. I've tapped off my daughter's car. My wife's car. The tires on their vehicles. My truck. You know. The fancy vehicles tell you which tire. And what pressure they're on. So I've tapped them off. My truck just has a flashing light. One of your four tires is soft. You have to figure it out. But you can use this. Put this sign. It'll read what the pressure is. So it's actually, you can use this as a pressure gauge also. But, we'll turn this thing on. And let me tell you, it's not quiet. So, if you got headphones, then I... I'd pull them out a little bit. It's not, it's not that bad. See the feel air coming out of there. That's a inlet, so you don't want to plug that. But overall, it's pretty cool. So I don't know if I, yeah. See, I put my finger over it. it hit, hit eight, pa 8 PSI and it shut off so I can get the work up a little bit okay, I see it moving up 5, 6, 6, six 8 then it shut off it's preset for 8 when it hit 8 it shut off so you don't have to worry about over inflating unless you have a set set wrong and you can just press hold and shuts down so I think this is pretty cool I thought I'd share it um, like, I, like I said I got it a lot cheaper when I bought it way back December 
but even at 40 bucks I wouldn't be if I paid 40 bucks for it I wouldn't be upset with it but yeah it's something I thought I'd share that I got that I like and it works and thought I'd let you guys take a look at it and I guess I'll do it for this video I will link this down in the description but do the usual like comment subscribe if you haven't and until the next video bye